Here it's election day in North Carolina's embattled 9th congressional district. We have team coverage on the highly anticipated race. That's between Democrat Dan McCready and Republican Dan Bishop. Good afternoon. Thanks for joining us for the NBC Charlotte News at Noon. I'm Rachel Lundberg. So the polls are open right now. A lot of people probably using their lunch break to go vote in the election for the 9th Congressional District. Also, some local primaries taking place. But the big one is District 9. That's between Dan McCready, the Democrat, taking on Republican Dan Bishop. Also, Libertarian Jeff Scott and Green Party's Alan Smith in the running. So this special election is really taking place because of voter fraud in last year's race election officials they ordered a redo we've got team coverage for you this afternoon let's get out to billy jean shaw she is live right now you are at one of uh, dan mccready's offices i saw some video on your twitter that looked like a big crowd Good afternoon, Rachel. Right now we're in Monroe at Dan McCready's headquarters here in Union County, where it is a part of the District 9 area. And he is going out right now, meeting with some of the volunteers and encouraging people to, to continue to get out there and vote. You, if you're in the area, you may be seeing some of these signs that they are continuing to take along with them as they encourage people to hit the polls. Keep in mind, polls do close at 730. So let's talk a little bit about the background and who McCready is up against. He is continuing against Republican Dan Bishop. Both were still campaigning on the eve of election night. Bishop is the sponsor of North Carolina's controversial bill that brought in heavy hitters last night. We're talking about President Donald Trump and Vice President Mike Pence, both campaigning for Bishop around North Carolina last night. And as far as McCready, well, he didn't have those types of heavy hitters uh, coming in to support him. But what he has been doing is using grassroots efforts, getting out, picking up the phone, asking people to vote for him. And he's really Really relying heavily on his experience as a marine and successful owner of a large solar company, something he said he built from scratch. We spoke to him earlier at his Charlotte office and asked him what he's looking forward to at this race, especially considering all the drama with the voter fraud last election. Take a listen. Well, well look, this has always been an uphill fight for us. This is going to be a very close race tonight. The fact that we're tied is an amazing testament to our grassroots momentum and our message about bringing this country together. I, I feel the need to uh, fight against uh, President Trump and um, especially against Dan Bishop with the bathroom bill. Um, there's, there's no way I would like him to be uh, representing me, District 9. So you just heard from Dan McCready and then one of the people that are supporting him at the polls. We spoke to a couple of folks this morning in Charlotte who were out voting and that was one of the voters who said, who explained his reason as to why he is supporting McCready. Once again, polls stay open until 7.30 tonight. But Rachel, this is going to be a very interesting race. Republicans have held the District 9 seat since 1963. But Dan McCready says he is confident that he has what it takes to beat that. So of course, we'll keep our eye on that. Reporting live in Moreau, Billie Jean Shaw. Rachel, back to you. Absolutely, Billie Jean. Thank you.